In this video, we will talk about how to create an account on Zotero.org and the multiple ways that you can use the Zotero citation management software. To create an account, you should visit Zotero.org. In the top bar, you want to click Log In. On that main page, you can click Register for a free account. And on this registration page, fill out the information requested and click register. On the next screen, it will provide a message that confirms it has sent you uh, an email to verify your account. So you need to head over to your email, click the link in the email that you receive, and hopefully get a success message that your uh, email has been verified. Once you've verified your email, you can log in and click on the link in the toolbar for web library. This will take you to your online web-based Zotero library. You can see that I have one that is very filled out with multiple folders and multiple shared group libraries. Um, yours will be blank and you can check out our videos on how to populate your Zotero library. The most effective way to use Zotero is a combination of the web-based library with the desktop software. So you can head back to Zotero.org and click the download button. And you can download Zotero for Windows. Or if you drop down the carrot here, you can also download other versions, including the Mac operating system version. And uh, downloading the desktop version will provide you with many more features. This is the desktop version of Zotero and it does have a sync option so that you can uh, sync it with your web-based library so that when you're accessing and adding things to your Zotero library on the web only, once you open the desktop app, you can sync it so that uh, the two databases match. And lastly, you could use the new feature called Zotero Bib, which you can use to just create a quick bibliography. You can enter in a URL, ISBN, or other identification number and or manually enter your citations and down at the bottom it will create a bibliography for you which you can quickly copy to a clipboard. It is saved in your browser data for uh, a little while but it is temporary and it can be temporarily shared with another person as long as it stays in your browser history. So those are the three ways to use Zotero as a web-based option, a desktop option, or creating a quick bibliography, and how to create your initial Zotero account.